and welcome back to the Crafty Corner! This week we're going to be making these really cool jelly keychains. Some people call them lanyards, but they're made with a box knot, so they're really cool. For this craft you will receive two bundles of string, different colors, and a keychain. And you will most likely need a scissors if you want to cut it shorter than what you've received. So now you're going to take your strings and you're going to try to find the middle. So what to do that, you take the two ends, put them together, and you go down and you pinch it. So there's my middle of my green string. Okay, then do the same with the other. That was the middle of my blue string. So then you're going to put them down as a cross. You're going to put the two middles on top of each other. The bottom, one on the bottom needs to be vertical, just like so, going straight from you to the other end of this table. Then the other one will lay like this, vertical across the other. Your first step that you're going to do is you're going to take this green one, or whichever color, and you're going to create this kind of loop-de-loop -loop kind of shape, like so, with so basically, the one that's pointing this way is going to come this way, and the one that was pointing this way is going to come this way. And it's going to have two loops. Right? So you hold that, and then you're going to take this string, your right. So this will be your left when you're looking at this video, but it'll be my right. So you're going to take your right string tail, and you're going to go over this you're going to go over the first loop, the right loop, and you're going to go into the left loop. Oop. So. Then you're going to do the same with the other one. You're going to go over the right, you're going to take your right string and you're going to go over the right loop and through the left loop, or, yeah, no, left, you take your left string, go through there. So, now you have this kind of, you have these two loops interconnected, and what you're gonna, so you're gonna have this thing, see how it's like there's a box around like that shape? created by the, the two strings. Looks like there's four strings at this point. And what you're gonna do from here is you're just going to pull all of your strings. I suggest doing the same string at one at a time so that it is not getting too complicated. Do it slowly because if you do it fast, it's going to just turn into a knot. And we wanna make this cool box, squ like square kind of shape. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to do what you did for the first step. You're going to take the bottom piece and loop it over the left side. And you're going to take the left, I mean the top piece and loop it over the right side. The smaller the loop it is, the easier, easier it is when you're trying to tighten it. Then you take your blue on the right side and make it go over the green and then under or through and the same with the other side and you just keep doing this until you're almost out of string all right we know this is just a little bit frustrating but it's pretty fun once you get to the hang of it you know, so my tip I like to think about is that as these as lanes. So you put the green one over its lane, and the next green one over its lane. See how they're going over the, their individual pieces? And then you're going to take your blue and put it in its lane, over and in. Boop. 
over and in. We know this can be a little frustrating when you get started and it's time consuming. But it's something you can do when you get the hang of it. You can just watch TV. And if you get frustrated still, take a break. Don't sit there and just let it get the best of you. You don't have to do it all in one sitting. You know, have some self-compassion, like reward yourself with what you've done, but don't beat yourself up if it's something that you're just not good at. We're not good at everything. So once you're towards the end and you don't have a lot of uh, pieces of string left, you're gonna tie it onto the keychain and what you're gonna do is you're gonna place the keychain in the middle and you take just do your basic knot that you've been doing. There you have it, a four-sided lanyard. See how there's one side that's blue, and the other side is green, and it's all the way around. We hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and please send us a picture of your creation. And remember, be kind, be brave, and, and be, be you! you.